Our next story is also from the book of 2 Kings, this time the sixth chapter, and it is about Elisha. You know from our last story that Elijah is gone home. Elisha is a prophet of Israel, and Syria is coming down and, and, and attacking Israel on a pretty fairly regular basis. And Elisha is staying in such close contact with the Lord that the Lord is saying to him, now, Syria is going to attack over there. Tell the king to stay away from there. And he would. Another time, perhaps, Syria had plans to go that way. And the Lord would say to Elisha, tell the king of Israel, don't go there. And after a while, the king of Syria called these people together and he said, I'd like to know which one of us is for Israel. Everything that, is, that we talk about, Israel seems to know and avoid us. And uh, <laughs> one of the men said, do you know that Elisha, the prophet, he could tell the king of Israel what you king say in your bedchamber. You know, that's that's pretty that's a that's a pretty strong statement for your enemy to say. That man is so close to God that God would tell him what you say in your bedchamber, King. So anyhow, the king said, I want this man. Find out where he is. Well they found out where he was and um, he was actually at Dotham. And so in the night they brought down chariots and horses and hosts and they surrounded the place where Elisha was. Elisha's servant comes out and sees all these horses and chariots and host of Syria. And he said, how shall we do? Look at, look at this, look at this Elisha. We're surrounded by the hosts and the chariots and the horses of Syria. And Elisha said to the young man, They that be for us are more than they that be with them. And Elisha prayed, Lord, open the eyes of this young man so that he can see you too have forces here to protect us. And the Lord opened the young man's eyes. And when he looked this time, he not only saw Syria's horses and chariots and hosts, but he saw the Lord's chariots and horses and hosts, horses of fire and chariots of fire. Again, I assume there was a host with them, but with or without, God had showed up. And he had shown up in, in horses and chariots of fire, sent with power from heaven. <laughs> and so then the Elisha asked the Lord if he would blind Syria's host. And the Lord blinded them. And they, they literally could not tell where they were. And he said, you're, he went to them and he said, you're not where you need to be. Let me lead you where you need to be. And he took them right down to Samaria. <laughs> and in Samaria, when their eyes were open, they realized they were in the, the, the center of Israel's camp. So because they were right there in the middle of Israel's camp, what they did was they, uh, the, the Lord opened their eyes. And, and the king of Israel said, what should we do to them? And Elisha said, feed them and send them home. You know, an, an enemy army sent home after having been blinded and marching right down in the center of the enemy's capital city. Here they were. And the Bible says Syria did not come back to fight for a long time after that. These two stories, yesterday and today, have to do with God sending horses and chariots of fire 
for his servants.